I have a whole freaking mind map of my new way of going paperless. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah. So there will be a discussion on the ne- one of the next episodes. I mean, we have so many things to talk about. <laughs> we do. All right. Commencing episode number 120. 20. That's a nice word. 20. Uh, you know, it, it's, it's so horrible that you have to shave every day to go to the office so that people in the office can see you. Yeah, luckily I don't have to do that. Hello, I'm Radek. I'm Michael. And this is The Podcast. A sounding board for interesting ideas and insights. We discuss books which I want to share with you. As well as technology and productivity, which is what we do by day working on our app, Nosby. Or whatever else comes to mind. All right, so we are very fast approaching. Um, Christmas! Yeah, and so for nerds, this is time to buy a lot of um, gifts, a lot of uh, gadgets, electronics, and so let's talk about that. Let's talk. Let's review 2017 and hardware, and maybe give some ideas to for buying, you know, expensive things for yourself or yeah, whatever. Especially, especially, you know, the thing is that for men, it's hard to find good gifts because men are usually, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm this kind of guy. I know exactly what I want. So if I know exactly what I want, then if you give me something that I don't want, I just don't like it. So it's... I, 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 th- I think it's, it's a trait of, of nerds, not necessarily m- men. Okay, last, just, just before we start, last year I surprised my wife because I bought her the, um, uh, the Beats Solo 3 wireless headphones um, because uh, they have this you know this w chip of uh, from from apple and mm-hmm. and i wanted because i wanted to have the, the the simplest bluetooth synchronization for her like like you know pairing for her and 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 headsets that will have no cable and would you know last long and would be perfectly you know pink uh, you know what was the, what was the name uh, the, the rose gold rose just gold. like yeah just like her um, iphone so she loved it and she was surprised you know i mean but again she's my wife so she's kind of geek so mm-hmm. yeah. but anyway we'll talk about our gadgets now all right so um where do we start uh, <laughs> yeah the, the, i don't even know there, there are so many great things in the hardware this year but i think for me the number one thing in hardware this year like the the best thing that happened to me in terms of hardware uh, are the Bose QC34 noise cancelling bluetooth headphones like there, there's there's no contest okay iPhone 10 is is great uh, the iPad Pro is great but you know they're just like better versions of what I already had but having noise cancelling headphones and bluetooth headphones at, at that and which lasts like 22 hours I think on one charge it's just like a a new level of quality of life like being able to have your own private solitude yeah I, I totally agree I um I bought them as well and uh, they are expensive and uh, so uh, we already had you know discussed the story if they are worth it if they are worth the price in the past episodes so I will link to them in the show notes uh, but the cool thing is really like just just recently I took them out I was working in a cafeteria and I put them on and I don't remember when I charged them last but I would just you know put them on turn them on and it was like battery is seventy percent I'm like okay whatever <laughs> like, like really it's like you know, i'm not even anxious about the fact if they are charged or not i mean they they last so long and then and they are so good uh, and in each cafeteria i'm just you know i'm just blown away or to, to, today actually i'm flying i'm flying out so i'm gonna enjoy them even more so cool very cool but, i mean th- this is magic i mean they really i mean they really cure cancer i mean they, they are so good you know for the for the for the ears uh, i love them yeah, yeah. I, I think we we've mentioned that in a bit more detail sometime in the past on, on the show, so we'll we'll link to that. But but really, uh, those are not cheap. Uh, they cost I think around three hundred dollars or three hundred euro. Um, yeah. But really, uh, I mean, as as long as it it actually lasts a few years, it's just so so worth it. Yeah. So the the thing that we discussed i think also on the podcast before but but maybe not not in so much detail is the fact that the thing with the gadget is that there you know you can buy cheaper and and more expensive gadgets and we'll talk about all of them on this show uh, today uh, but sometimes it's just worth spending a little bit more uh, 
and having them, you know, enjoying them more and having them last for years. So uh, we're not sure about, you know, Bo Boza QC35, they will last so many years. We don't know that yet, but we know that we've been enjoying them immensely. And yes, they cost yeah. us lots of money, but they were worth it. And we'll, you know, have a few other uh, gadgets today. Some will be cheap, some will be more expensive. But anyway, the quality is just, you know, the, it's about quality. Like if you get good stuff, you know, it's, you're going to enjoy it more. All right, what's next? Okay, so speaking about headphones, um, I want to give a shout out to AirPods because I have both. I have the AirPods and I have the, the Bose QC35. Uh, and AirPods are just, I have them all the time in my pocket, all the freaking time. So the cool thing about them is they're always ready. So I just take them out and I can listen to anything anytime and uh, thanks to the airpods i've been uh, right now listening to more to, to more audiobooks than than before because i would just pull them out like whenever there was a moment i could just listen to something and i didn't have to you know fiddle with chords or whatever so like i have them all the time they're always charged because the, the, their their case is a battery a battery pack actually a battery you know, power bank um and and they are so small so they fit in my pocket and they are always there uh, and they always you know and i can use them both with you know with my iphone with my uh, mac and with my uh, um ipad so for me airpods were so useful the, the, i mean this this whole year just to have them all, all time around because Bose, the, the, the big headphones i wouldn't have them all the time with me i would have them with my when i had my ipad with me uh, with my ipad bag but airpods always on me uh, and uh, i enjoy them a lot they you know they don't have the noise cancelling and things but uh, they're very, very useful. Just to sort of show how great AirPods are, um, a friend of mine who is not an iPhone user, he's an Android user, got AirPods recently. Because, really? Yes, because he wanted headphones like that, uh, wireless and no cords in between, just two individual headphones. And after doing a lot of research, he decided that even though they don't work as great uh, with Android phones as with uh, iPhones. Uh, they're they're still the best in in the category. Yeah, you see. So I mean, and, and, but for me, for me, this whole thing, you know, it's like it's like with the camera and stuff. Like you say, the best camera you have is, I mean, the best camera you can you, you can use is the best is the one that you have on you. And yeah. uh, and and with AirPods, the fact is that now I have headphones with me on me all the time. Whenever I need them, I have them in my pocket. So that's why, like for me, they're you know the way they work, great. All right. And uh, while we stick with the uh, the audio theme, uh, I don't have AirPods, but I got uh, actually as a small gift from you uh, yeah. another <laughs> pair of wireless uh, headphones, uh, which is this this weird like some almost no name company. Well, pretty much no name company. I think they're called Empow Enchanter or something like that. We'll, we'll find the link and, and put it in, in the show notes. Uh, now, those are not like AirPods. They're not as good as AirPods for what they are, uh, but there's something else. Like they are really cheap. They're like 20 or 25 bucks. Um, exactly. They are, are still wireless. They just have a cable in between. Uh, they're good for for um, for exercising, like I, I I take them for runs and for the gym because they're not huge like uh, like the Bose QC45. They exactly. they fit much better uh, than AirPods. They are not noise canceling, but well isolating anyway. Um, and for a twenty five uh, dollar pair of headphones, they the the battery lasts a surprising uh, number of hours and they sound fine. So. If not the AirPods or the the Bose QC Q- 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 35, uh, like uh, especially if you have uh, like an iPhone 7 or 8 or one of those 2017 smartphones which don't have a jack, uh, you'll <laughs> you can get get some on this small gift and be, they'll be much happier for not having cables anymore. I mean, this these headphones are first; they are so good. I mean, from this company, Empow, I I've, I've it's, it, I have a, I have several, and and I have ones in my in my home in my hometown. One 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 of one pair I have here with me, and one pair I have always with me, you know, to 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 go for a, for a trip. So uh, 
I have a few of the pairs, but uh, because they're so cheap, I can keep them uh, there. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not worried if they get broken, and and then they don't. It's hard to break them. <laughs> so, uh, so really, you know, for as you said, twenty twenty five dollars, it's like, you can't beat that. So, uh, so very good headphones, and especially for 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 sports. I mean, in, um, uh, with headphone uh, with AirPods, I'm always afraid that they will just you know fall out of my ears when I when I run. Normally, when I walk, it's not a problem, but when I run, I, I'm, yeah. I'm a little bit anxious about that. But with these, no, no way. I mean, I'm, I'm running with them. I'm, I'm riding bike with them. Uh, they're fantastic. So uh, totally recommend it. And again, very cheap. All right. What's next? So speaking of cheap audio, let's let's just uh, my last uh, recommendation. I have. Uh, purchased uh, JBL portable speakers. They are very small, like like you know, a few matchboxes glued together. So very 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 small, <laughs> very portable. Uh, and again, they're from JBL, so for, like from a, like a legitimate company, right? And um, and they cost, like, I think, like $30 or $35, something like that. So mm. they're not really expensive. And they're surprisingly good as well. And I take them with me all the time whenever I travel. So like for, like for travels, not you know with me when I walk or something, <laughs> but for travels, I, I put them also also in my on my on my checklist uh, to pack them with me because you know when I'm in a hotel room or something or, or someplace else and I want to just put some music on or you know listen to something uh, without headphones, I just you know I just turn it up, turn them on, and and then it, it's Bluetooth. Uh, just you know put the put the music on and that's it, and we we have a party. So. Very cool ones. Uh, again, not very expensive. Not you know two hundred, three hundred dollars speakers, but you know, thirty, thirty-five dollars speakers. Um, very portable. Very um, also battery lasts. I don't know very, very long. So uh, again, very useful. Very cool. All right. Um, another um, idea for um, for a gift is a year-long subscription to Backblaze. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, this is, if, if you listen to a lot of tech podcasts, you've probably heard it. Um, they are the Backblaze is not a, a sponsor, and I don't use Backblaze. I like for myself, uh, I use uh, Arc plus Amazon Cloud Drive as my Mac backup strategy because I think it's better. But but the thing about Backblaze is it's super simple. It, it just it takes no setup, no configuration. It's for the Mac. It's for Windows. It's it's for for everything, and it. It's um, a year-long sub- subscription is is fifty dollars. So you know, like we have so much stuff on our computers, and especially if you have like less technical um, family members, they still have um, you know valuable stuff there. They have family photos and and whatnot, and the day will come when something will break and this data will be gone forever. And if you're a geek, you know that you need a backup strategy, but your family members might not. So, you know, you just get them a year long subscription to Backblaze. You set it up. It takes 15 minutes and you're at your, you know, your parents place or whatever for Christmas, probably anyway, and you're done with it. And, you you know, you have a, a peace of mind and they have a peace of mind for, for a year. Yeah, I totally, uh, I totally agree. I actually use Backblaze on my main, main iMac, and it works flawlessly. Like I don't think about it; it's just there. So uh, I know I have my home iMac backed up. Uh, I'm not, you know, stressing about it. And um, and what I would add to what you said is that I also what I did uh, last year, and I'm gonna, you know, uh, keep doing it every year whenever I go home to visit my family. I set up um, my parents' iCloud account so that actually they pay for iCloud storage. And this uh-huh. way, their iPhones uh, are backed up. So whatever happens, they have backed up iPhones, you know. And uh, and their photos are also backed up in the cloud because there, there's always been a problem, you know, with photos, migrating photos and whatever. Now, uh, what I did I did set up for, for both of my parents is, you know, the photos in the cloud, in iCloud, and, and I, I, I purchased their, you know, their uh, subscription for, for the whole year of, uh, of iCloud. I mean, actually now it's monthly, but you know, it was yearly before. Mm-hmm. And this way, again, peace of mind. My parents' data is stored on iCloud. If something goes wrong, if their iPhone goes wrong, whatever, it's saved. It's there. So um, it's a good deed and and uh, you'll be happy to do it. Yeah. And um, especially if, if you have family members which, which have like, uh, say, older iPhones when not that long ago they used to sell like 16 gig iPhones and it's likely that they have one of them. And then, mm-hmm. you know, you, you're getting calls uh, because you're the family tech support and 
the the problem is just that they ran out of space and they want to take photos, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And so if you have plenty of storage, and of course Apple should just provide a lot more storage for free, uh, but if they don't, you know, you flip the switch that it's sent to iCloud and then even with 16 gigs, you can do just uh, fine. And of course, if uh, your family members uh, use Android, uh, you know, um, th there's probably very similar things you can and, and should do, but I don't know anything about it, so sorry. Yeah, some Google account, whatever. I, I yeah. also don't know what, just, what's there, but... Just Google it. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, just Google it. Just Google it and set it up. Uh, you know, because it's really important. I mean, we have these these iPhones, these smartphones, and then when, you know, the data we start there, the photos, the videos, and when they get, you know, when they go south, then they go really south and people are just you know, annoyed. So, um, so yeah, totally. Changing the subject, um, I uh, about but still, you know, about homes and stuff. I mean, you know, one of the problems of of of, of men is the fact that they have to shave. And um, for example, I love to be shaved. I hate shaving. So I, <laughs> so that's that's my problem. And because uh, of genes, uh, like G E N E S, not 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 jeans, the, the trousers. So because of uh, of the fact that my father. Is like his. I am like my father, so I have to shave every freaking day, and sometimes <laughs> even twice if I really want to have like a s smooth uh, face. So it's not like I cannot, you know, go. Um, I mean, I can sometimes. I, I do go unshaved like for two, three days, but then I just start, you know, looking weird. Uh, you know, it, it's it's so horrible that you have to shave every day to go to the office so that people in the office can see you. Yeah, luckily I don't have to do that, which is which is good. But you know. Um, uh, yeah, but sometimes I have to see people and then I have to shave. So um, I would like to recommend um, uh, brown shavers. And especially I've uh, I've had a brown shaver Series 5. They have several series, of course, because pri price points, like iPhones, you know, price points. They have Series 3, which is cheap, Series 5, which is okay, Series 7, which is really good, and then Series 9, which is the top of the, of the line. So whatever. I have Series 5. Uh, I've had it for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. I think 10 years. And before that, I had some Panasonic. I had some different shavers. So I tried different ones before I settled you know, on, on this one. And I've had it for the last 10 years. I mean, 10 freaking years with one shaver. What I, I only would change the, the, the foils of the shaver. But apart from that, the shaver, up, up until this day, works flawlessly. It just works perfectly. And uh, it gives me a very good shave. And because it's a 10-year anniversary of my shaver, I asked for Christmas... The top of the line, Series Nine. So, uh, so uh, my wife got me, um, and I already know that she got me. So um, it's kind of you know a spoiler, but whatever. I don't I don't mind. She got me the Series Nine, so the the, the best shaver ever from Brown. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm I'm looking forward to testing it and seeing how this goes. But whatever. But the thing is, again, that, that is an expensive shaver. It's a very expensive shaver. But again, just think about it. I've used my Series Five shaver for the last ten years, and it's still fine. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually uh, uh, keep my Series Five shaver at my parents' place. So whenever I come to visit my parents, I will have my shaver there, and I don't have to just carry it um, because it's so good. And now I got the Series Nine, and I'm sure it's gonna last me for the next ten or twenty years. So just, 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 just to tell you that you know, again, it's a expensive thing. But you know, once I mean, and but before the, before my brown series five shaver, I've had a few ones, a few like a Panasonic ones, like a Philly shave, like a few a few ones, and they they were not good. And after that, when I settled on this one, like for the next ten years, I didn't have to worry about it, you know. So and now I, don't, I still don't have to worry about it. It's just uh, my fancy of just having the fanciest shaver now because I I just um, you know like it so much. And I, and by having the fanciest shaver ever, I'm hoping that I will be shaving more often. Um, we'll see how this goes. But whatever, uh, what I'm just saying, again, if you invest in a gadget that lasts long, and I know the brown shavers last long, um, yeah, your life is happier. And you, you likely, more, you know, more shave more, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's, uh, that sounds really good, actually. Um, getting back to small electronics gadgets, if you or, or, or someone uh, in the family has one of those new iPhone 8s or 10s or any Android phone from the last four, five years, uh, which has um, inductive charging, then it's a cool small gift to to just get them this this wireless ch wireless uh, char uh, charger thing because it's you know it, it's a thing that you know it, with iPhones it doesn't come in the box so 
a lot of people just just won't buy it because it's not that big of a deal and you know it's not expensive but like why spend 20 or or, or, or 50 dollars if you can just plug in the, the cable but it's just such a small nice thing that that just uh puts a smile on a nerd's face so um uh the, 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 there's a lot of um inductive chargers on, on on the apple online store some of them are more expensive and they support the slightly faster uh charging uh, I use um, a, a cheap uh, but nice looking um, a charger I get from Amazon. Uh, the same one, the same one you have. Uh, it's some Yo Green uh, yeah. something. We'll, we'll put the link in, in in the show notes. And it's just it's just awesome because it sits uh, on the cupboard and the iPhone just sits there while I sleep. And it it takes longer to charge than through the fast charging thing, but it's fine because it has the whole night to charge. And since most of the time I'm here in the home office anyway, um, it charges most of the day. And so when I pick up my phone, it's almost always 100% charge, which was never the case before. Uh, So it's it's a small, tiny, cool gadget. Yeah, I think, you know, the, the cool thing about these, these, these uh, um, wireless inductive charging uh, things is that uh, you can, again, they're cheap. I mean, for example, you can, of course, you can get the most more expensive ones and then, then I'm sure the air power that Apple announced is going to be really expensive. Mm-hmm. But you can get the cheaper ones like we did, like the Ugreen one. Uh, and you can put them in several places at home. And yeah, you just put the, exactly. the phone there and that's it. Like, for example, I have a different one, different company, I don't remember, but we got, we'll put the link in the show notes uh, that, I, that I have um, in my kitchen. And again, I just put my phone there uh, and it just charges. And... For me, there's another psychological thing there because I, I put it in the kitchen because when I'm in the kitchen, I would like to have my phone away and focus on my children. Mm-hmm. So for me, like there is this nice thing. I put my phone away. It charges itself. Well, I'll attend to my children. And and it, you know, and then I have to, don't have this temptation to check my phone. It's there, but it's close to me. So in a, if somebody calls or whatever, it's going to be uh, there to pick it up. Um, and as you said, it, it's, it's, it's hard to... It's hard to describe it, but it is nice not to have to fiddle with the cable and put the cable in the phone. I know it's 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 like you know first world problem or whatever, <laughs> like, but but just really putting the phone away and you know it charges. It's it's just nice. It's a nice thing. It it uh, I think it's a it's a good small gift because it's not a necessity. So you're likely mm-hmm. not to buy it to yourself, but there's just something delightful about it. Right, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, and and you you made two good points. Like like first of all, the the, the good thing about the uh, the the cheap uh, inductive chargers, which are not really worse, and like like this one I got is actually the the best looking of them all, and it's like eighteen euro. Um, yep. But uh, but 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 because of because the, they're they're cheap, it's it's easy to get multiple on ones you know, multiple ones and have them in multiple places at the house. Uh, I also like, um, I didn't get one of them. Uh, it, it didn't fit uh, for, for my room, but I, I like the ones from I- Ikea where they're integrated into furniture or like a lamp, right? A desk lamp, mm-hmm. which, uh, you know, uh, and, and the the base of, of, of the lamp is, is a wireless charger, right? That's just awesome. Um, so I, I really like that one. And, and also uh, like, like for me, uh, Placement is, is is important. So I have the the wireless charger in my bedroom, uh, in a place uh, which is right next to the door and as far away as possible from my bed. So the f- the phone charges while I sleep, but when the alarm clock rings, I have to get up and get to the the end of the room anyway to turn it off. So. I'm, you know, it's it's easier to actually just wake up and and not hit snooze, uh, right? And it's also, uh, you know, since my bedroom is also my home office, uh, it's not at the desk, and there's only one lightning cable at the desk, which is for charging my iPad. So I I, I don't have my phone, which has the most you know distractions, uh, the most notifications that come in in, in my hardware. Um, I don't have it near my computer while I'm working. So it's just, you know, small things, but it's nice. Yeah, I already, like, I did the same. I have my, uh, the Ugreen uh, pad um, at the end of my bedroom. So for me, like, there is this, again, there is this routine right now that in the evening, I put my phone away on the pad and go to bed. 
and there is no temptation then in bed to check Twitter or whatever because my phone is already there and I put it there. So for me, it's a signal. Time to go to bed. You put it, put it there, you go to bed and that's it. And there is no way for me to, 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 to get it. So yeah, a very, very cool thing. So uh, yeah, and as I said, uh, and again, this is uh, what we should mention more is that with these gadgets, very often they are, these are the things that, as you said, people are not likely to buy for themselves. Yeah. And that's why they are good uh, uh, gift ideas because it's something delightful that you can give them that they wouldn't think of uh, themselves. Yeah. It, you know, for me, I always say to everyone, don't, don't get me gifts. I don't, I don't like really receiving gifts because it's so hard to, to give me a gift that I, I wouldn't already get myself, right? Uh, and, and so, like for 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 nerds who are like that, especially you know for for minimalists, there are just very few things in the category in the category of not necessary but delightful. So I want to have it anyway. Uh, mm. So you know, like like for me and in my family, I, I would I would never uh, get a, an expensive uh, thing like as a as a Christmas gift. Like it's just not 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 a thing we would do. So um, if if we're doing hardware, small things like that are are pretty good for. For, for presents. All right. Uh, any any other suggestions? Uh, well, I see a few on your list, and I have one final one. Okay. So, um, of course, it's hard not to mention. The, I mean, the big the big guys. So the the iPad ten point five inch and the iPhone ten. Okay, iPhone ten is as a Christmas gift. As you said, as you said, it's very expensive. So it's hard to imagine uh, somebody giving it to someone, um, unless it's like a like a group gift or something like that. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, iPhone ten is is a delightful thing. We will have we will have a, a, a show about it and we'll, our our own review uh, in the future. Um, I'm just I'm just in love with this with this new machine. And iPad Pro 10.5, as we both can agree, is the best iPad ever. It's like it's, it's really the best iPad yet. Its size, its its performance, like everything about it is just is just perfect. It's just like this is the perfect iPad to get. Um, in the you know like for 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 somebody who who wants to really take uh, working on the iPad uh, more seriously more seriously. All right, uh, and the final one from me. And this this is one I'm I'm going to get from uh, from Santa Claus this year uh, oh. is um, is the Lego Saturn V model. Wow, really? Yes, uh, I, I I put the link in, in our task if, if you want to check it out, Michael. But it's yeah, it's so good. It's like it's the best Lego model of all times, and it's the best Saturn V model of all times. It's just great. It's perfect. It has so many nice little details. Like if you know anything about Saturn V, um, you know the greatest, the biggest, the most massive rocket of all time. Uh, it's just amazing. And Saturn V is the the perfect rocket for making a model out of because it has so many stages. Right? It has three stages and the uh. you know you know the 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 lunar lander stages and the capsule and whatnot so there's a lot of things that stack on top of each other so you can play with with that model and like take off the second stage and look at it and then put it back together it's a it's a 1 to 100 uh, scale model so it's 1 meter tall it's, it's really, very big it's very big and in there as you can see Michael the listeners cannot but i i have a 1 to 100 scale paper model of the Falcon uh, 9 so mm -hmm. uh, you know uh, to have uh, both next to each other um, different material different times different rocket but the same scale uh, will be pretty cool wow and one last uh, delightful detail from Lego is that this uh, model has exactly 1969 pieces which is of course um, you know 1969 is the the date of, of the first uh, moon landing Nice. Yeah, this is cool. This is yeah, this is cool. Yeah. yeah speaking of Lego, I um I last year I got the the Porsche 911 GT3. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was all, all, also my dream come true. I uh, to to have that Porsche um and to to have that that Lego uh set and it was like I don't remember 3000 or something pieces and it was it's really big. Yeah. 
what I really liked about it um, uh, is the fact that because it was uh, it was also like all these details. Lego is really <laughs> nailing down the details. It was also uh, built. Um, I mean, the construction was also set into several stages, mm-hmm. like you would construct yes. the Porsche in the factory. So ah, they nice. really they would so they would really like do it like you know first the 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 the, the, the base and then the chassis and then like, everything the cage like they all everything like it was it was really well done, and because of that. I really took my time building it. I didn't rush to it. I was building it, I think, two months um, on and off because I was sharing this experience with some other, with, with different people. So like somebody would come to me and I like, like yeah. let's build a, a part of it. And then they would come and we would build, we would talk, and then somebody else would come. And then so I did. I, I built it with several people, yeah. and of course with my daughter as well. Uh, so it it took us uh, quite a while. But again, this is like this kind of situation where the journey is the ultimate destination. So for mm-hmm. me right now, the Lego, uh, this Porsche is done, it's built, and it's kind of standing there. It's nice, but it's, it's, it's not more that exciting because the most exciting part was building it. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I savored the moment and I was just enjoying the building process and I wasn't rushing into having it built. Yeah, but you know, um, like the, the great thing about having awesome Lego sets like that is that you can share the joy with other geeks, not just by building it together with them, but you know you can build it yourself and then disassemble it and lend it to your geek friend and have him or her have a lot of fun and return it to you, right? It's and and then like you get to build it again, <laughs> which is awesome. Now your yours is particularly uh, large. It's like you said, more than three thousand pieces, right? Mm. Uh, yeah, but um, you know, I I've, I know I, I've done it. Uh, I, I've done it in in the past to borrow other friends' Lego sets, uh, just because they were awesome, and I wanted to build them myself and then return to them. It's fun. Yeah, uh, it's almost three thousand pieces. It's two thousand seven hundred four pieces. So um, yeah, uh, very cool. A yeah. So like, but but again, because it's Lego. The, another thing which 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 is my, my project for next year is uh, to um, to add um, a steering to it. So ah. uh, and 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 of course there are videos on YouTube and and you know and instructions how to add steering um, to to this. Uh, I mean steering like you know power steering. So we can actually mm-hmm. use you know yeah. uh, use your iPhone to 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 drive the car. So so this will be my next project to disassemble it a little bit and add a power steering and enjoy it even more. So yeah, it's a, you know it's a never you know it, again we have already you know talked about it. Lego is a gift that keeps on giving. So um, yes. No, no wonder. Like on my, on both of my daughter's uh, Santa Claus lists, uh, there are there are Lego pieces as well, and they have already lots of them. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. You, you know, I'll 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 make a, a, a slight digression. Uh, two two days ago, uh, I was in the cinema uh, watching the new, the latest Pixar movie, Coco, which was awesome, by the way, like really awesome. I shed some tears, right. which only Pixar movies can do, and and here's what I don't understand. There was a lot of adult adults in the in the cinema, but they didn't watch the movie. They came there with the, their children, have them watch the movie while they were playing with their phones. And it was so sad to me that they would come to such a beautiful, great movie, a Pixar film, and not watch it because they decided that it's a kid's movie. So huh. don't ever, you know... Uh, don't ever let anyone tell you that Pixar movies are not for adults and don't ever let anyone tell you that Lego sets are not for adults. Yeah, exactly. Like, as in, I, mean, I, I still remember my first visit to Legoland and <laughs> and there were parents coming with kids and I, I saw the, the, you know, the fire in their eyes. Like, no, no, I'm coming here with just with my child. <laughs> but they were like, yeah. <laughs> you know, they, they they were just. I think they were more more excited than the kids, <laughs> but but the kid was just an excuse, you know, to get in. So uh, yeah. yeah, it was fantastic. So to wrap it up, uh, my question to you is, what happened to your love or the lack of it for the Apple Watch? Like why? So why is Apple Watch no longer on our list, and why you're not encouraged to to use it? I mean, do we want to talk about it more in the deep detail, or just want to share it right now, like why you stopped using it? Uh, we can get back to it in more detail in in the future, but but I can I can briefly summarize it. Um, I stopped wearing it at some point um, during this this whole period where I started um, 
uh, shedding a, a lot of sort of dead weight from all of my systems, uh, you know, stopping all of the unnecessary notifications and whatnot. I just felt overwhelmed with the fact that Apple Watch uh, would put, you know, put even more notifications in, in front of my face and I felt overwhelmed by them. So I stopped wearing it uh, as a small experiment for a week. Then the week became two weeks. Then two weeks became a month. And I just, I never felt the need to get back to it you know mm-hmm. like um what's what sold me on on the Apple watch the, the the two biggest um selling points is first of all uh, all of the health slash fitness features the reminders to get up uh the rings yeah. the fact that you want to complete the rings that it's just a thing sort of nudging, pushing the right psychological buttons that you want to complete that. Like, you don't want to left, leave it uncompleted, right? And mm-hmm. and the tracking of exercises and whatnot. Uh, and, and notifications, yeah. Uh, the fact that the data is sort of closer to you. But the problem is that um, with the latter, again, I, I've decided that I don't actually need it. And in fact, I don't actually want it because there's nothing so urgent that it cannot wait the 10, 15 minutes until I look at my phone again. And if something really is urgent, like people can call me, which never happens, of course, but they can call me if something really is urgent and then I'll know. And with the health and fitness things, that was really great when it worked. But after mm-hmm. a while, after you know, a year, two years of using it, gradually, um, to use a metaphor by, I think, John Syracuse, my brain developed um, antibodies to the, the, the <laughs> fitness tracking things, and I just stopped paying attention. I tr- it, it, it turned from a thing that just worked at pushing the right buttons in my brain for me to like want to do it, to me trying to force myself to like, hey, like, why did you stop paying attention to the circles and whatnot? But it just... It, like at that point, it's it's too late because it now doesn't change anything. Like if it's a really serious thing, then you then you can track it, but it no longer worked as a thing that just that just like naturally pushes you. I I, I would have to push myself to take advantage of it, and so at that point, like you know, I don't care. Like I don't care about the data. Like yes, I care about being uh, physically active, but. The data itself doesn't help, and if if the motivational sort of tool is not doesn't actually work for me anymore after like it worked for a long time, but after two years it no longer works, then there's no point. And all the other things, the the small improvements, the fact that I can use Siri to set a timer or an alarm clock if I want to take a nap or something like that, it's just it's insignificant. It's nice, but it's not a big deal. And I prefer like at that point it. It gave me so little benefit that I prefer just having one less thing to worry about, to wear, to charge, etc. Okay, so um, my uh, my experience is contrary because I I still use my Apple Watch every day and um, I still enjoy it a lot. I have I had to really. Uh, um, edit the notifications so just to make sure that I don't get that many notifications on my watch so with that there was some you know some management to do uh, but for example uh, as we mentioned in this episode I like putting my phone away in the afternoon mm-hmm. and then having my watch on me it gives me this uh, peace of mind that if somebody if there is a notification important like message or whatever you know, I can pick it up on the phone and just see if it's important or not and discard it or not. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, not on the phone, but on the watch. Uh, and, and this way, uh, I can have my phone away, play with my children and still have my uh, watch on me in case somebody wants to contact me or send me an important message. Um, and uh, I do use the tracking thing. I stopped being so religious about closing the rings anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this has changed because I started this, this year, you know, off with a, a long streak of, of, of just being, you know, closing the rings every freaking day. So I don't do it anymore, uh, but I, I, I really use it. And I, of course, also use the, the, the Apple Watch for, um, um, for swimming. So uh, it, it, it helps me because then I don't have to count laps or anything like that. I just, I just swim with the, with the watch and then at the end of the session, I just know how many laps I did and that's it. So um, um, it's just, you know, it's, it's again, one less thing to, to think about. 
Um, although the, the one complaint I have about the watch is that uh, it's, still not, it's still not independent from the, from the phone. Mm-hmm. Even the, the one of, with LTE, uh, which I, I, ca- I can't get because in, in the country where I live, it's, it's not available yet. Um, it, it's not independent because you, I, can, I can just listen to Apple Music. Uh, if I if I, and I'm not, I'm not even a subscriber, uh, but I cannot listen, for example, to uh, to the podcasts or other books, mm-hmm. um, just from the from the watch and the heart rate monitor when you run, it's it's not really reliable. It's really flaky. I mean, like yeah. I start to run and it just tells me it's two hundred. I'm like two hundred really. I just started. I barely. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm barely sweating right now. You know, what is this? So. Yeah, so there are some complaints about it, but I really, I still enjoy my Apple Watch, and my wife also does, and uh, so we we still we still use it and practically every day. So, all right. So to sum up, uh, what do we have? We had Bose QC thirty five, we had the AirPods, the the Ampel Enchanter headphones, the JBL portable speakers, uh, the um, inductive charging pads, Backblaze, iPhone ten, iPad Pro, Brown Series nine shaver. And the Lego. Yes. So Merry Christmas, everyone, and uh, hope you know some of these things uh, end up on your list or not. And if you have other suggestions uh, for Christmas gifts, let us know uh, via Twitter. I mean, you can find us on the podcast.fm slash about. You can find our Twitter handle. So uh, let us know uh, on Twitter or just at tweet at the podcast FM. And we'll be happy to, uh, to maybe mm-hmm. talk about them in the future or maybe try some of these things or maybe give them to somebody. So uh, let us know. Mm-hmm.